Welcome back to another false art video. This is gonna be a nice autumn video. Kind of relaxing, kind of jazzy. Anyways, long time no see. Glad to be back. Let's start out here. I wanted to just start it out real quick. It's fresh, but let me show you guys here. I'm just gonna prep this canvas real quick. Give it some yellow. Nice bright yellow. Now I've done many of these before in the past, and I'll put a link down below so you can go see the old ones I did, but I've done this for since 1990. Okay, I've been doing this. It's kind of more of a crafty type painting. So, you know, I helped a lot of people out in the nursing homes and places like that just to keep them entertained and give them some activities to do. And so this really is a good seller too. It sells well. So if you want to do something with your kids or family, then go for it. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little, let's mix it up a little orange. Ooh, look at that orange. Nice orange. I like that. Dip it in that orange and kind of put it all over. Just kind of break it up. Get that autumny color going in. Is autumny a word? <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's rock and roll with this. You don't want it all completely covering your yellow. Just kind of float that orange around. We just want it in there. Yeah, let's put a little bit of red in there too while we're at it. Because sometimes, you know, these leaves turn red too, you know. So um, let's go on this side. And we'll just kind of work our way back. There we go. Simple, simple painting, guys. Simple technique here. And like I said, I've done this since the 90s. I think I did this one in the 90s, and the other one I did in 91. But I didn't. But I'm going to change it up a bit, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, that's it. I don't want to kill that uh, yellow too much. Naturally, I'm going to add more yellow to top of the orange. I want it to be kind of sticky because I want my leaves to kind of stick a little. And you'll see what I mean. Okay. You know what? I'm going to add just a tiny bit of green in this corner. Is that a little green? Just a tiny bit. A drop. Watch me dump a whole gallon. Okay, that's good enough. That's probably enough to cover the whole canvas. Okay, let's wipe some of that off. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Okay, a little green, not too much. We're trying, we're trying to go after the autumny color. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice brownish rusty tone there. Pretty nice. All right, I like it now. I like it now. Let's do it. Okay, so now I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm just going to kind of wipe some of that up. So some of that color to just kind of be a little lighter. There we go. See how nice blo how I'm blending that real nice? And while I'm at it, I'm getting some of the hair from the brush out of it. But also, look at that. Nice balance there. Soften it out a little. There you go. Okay, now I went out and I got some leaves. So now we're going to kind of carefully place some of these leaves in a nice juxtaposing manner. Kind of stick them down on the paint. You know what? Before I do that, you know what? Let's marbleize it a little bit. Let's put a little pizzazzy gold in this thing. Oh, look at that. That's gold paint, guys, gold. So that's gonna glitter up a little bit, a little webbing here. So I'm using a marbleized Krylon gold. Pretty cool. And you can get it black, white, whisper, or any colors you want. And we're gonna do gold because that kind of warms things up. And that'll stay underneath that way. Now we're just gonna incorporate these leaves. So stick them on there, nice and tight. The little ones, big ones. Yeah, let's get them all out there. Ooh, check this one out. That one's kind of neat. Yeah, that's wild, look at that. That's wild. Stick them on there. You want to make sure your leaves are kind of fresh. You don't want them too uh, dried out because then they'll get too light and blow away and stuff. So kind of get them on there like that. And we're just sticking them on there. Stick them on that wet paint. Stick and move, stick and move, Mark, stick and move. It's like a boxing match, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. You know what, I'm gonna reach down here and get a kind of a weird leaf. You know, like this one here, look at that. It's bust off. Let's put it in there, give it a little bit of a jazzy look there. Yeah, singleize them, let's singleize them. Just stick them on there, stick them on there. Look at this one here. This is like a, wow, look at that one. That one's like a, a vine, so it's like like a grapevine. I kind of dig that one. Anyways, that one's right there, right there. Pretty nice deal. 
And heck, we'll just leave the stem on now, who cares? All right, more of these cottonwood leaves. Love the cottonwood leaves, they're really neat looking. And uh, they make a good imprint. And then we're gonna move some leaves around afterwards too. Trying to find some big ones here, some big ones. Some big ones for the corners. Yeah. And let's just overlap some of these. We're gonna overlap some of these in the corners. Some right there. Just want those nice points showing. Let's shove that one right underneath that leaf. Uh, make a nice kissable leaf there. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. That was a big old leaf. Look at that. Crazy good looking leaf. Crazy good looking leaf. Oh yeah. Okay, we're getting it nice and full. Getting it nice and full. Yeah, see, we want it to like, look like falling leaves from the fall. And put one in the corner here. Put one here. Put one here. We're filling it up, babies. We're filling it up slowly. Slowly, slowly. Look at that little one there. We'll put a little one there. A little tiny one in the corner. We're gonna put another one over here. We're just gonna overlap this one. Overlap this one. Overlap this bottom. Yep. Just kind of get as many in there as you can. Yeah. I'm gonna show you a different, couple of different things here. All right, looks pretty good. That one didn't stick really good, but we'll get it on there. We'll, flip, we'll turn it upside down. How the hell about this? Let's get another leaf. Get another leaf, we want it to stay down. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a little bit of this purple, and we're gonna jet it. A little bit of purple. And hold some of the leaves down a little bit with your finger. And then move some around if you have to. It's gonna get gassy. It's gonna get gassy. Okay. Okay, purple. Now we're gonna get black. Okay, we got a nice kind of black here. Uh, let's just use this black here. This one looks a little bit better. Let's see. Yeah, that was better. Okay, we're just gonna kind of get soft mist, soft mist, straight down though, straight down. Don't go sideways or, you're, or you'll lose your leaf pattern. Nice and easy. Okay, right here. Let's get that leaf attack. Leaf attack. And another leaf. Wait, 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 wait. And we're gonna move some leaves around, just like I promised. We wanna get most of this canvas covered though. Okay. All right, now we're gonna move this one. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now we're gonna use this one a little bit for a template like. Toss those out of the way. Look at that guys, look at that. And we're gonna see what we've got here. We're gonna, we're just gonna go through all this and see what we got. See what we got. And then we're gonna use a couple of those just to make a few little more leaves overlap so they look like the falling leaves. And look how we trapped that gold underneath, isn't that crazy? We might put it, we might even put a little bit more back on top. Yeah, a little bit more back on top. And uh, some of these stuck, so we'll get them. We'll get them. Just gotta be careful how you grab them. Oh, look at that leaf. That one really made a cool print. Yep, that one made a cool print. Look at that, it's like an overlay. Some of that purple moved around. Isn't that wild? Yep, a little time consuming, but just reach in there and don't be shy. Oh, look at that little one. Oh, he made a little impression there. He made a little impression. Even the little guys make impressions. Okay, we're gonna do something here. Kinda. There we go. See how I did that? You gotta kinda fix some of those up a little bit. Like this edge. There we go. Take some of those off, some of those off, some of those off. 
Ooh, look at that one. Some of those off. Some of those off. Here we go. We're getting there. Beautiful. Hang this up on your wall during Thanksgiving, boy. Bring all that warmth in. Look at that. Look at that. We'll put another little leaf there. We'll go the opposite way, though. There we go. Maybe right here. Yep. I kind of like that leaf there, so I'm not going to mess with it. Okay. Let's get that one out of the way. Look at that. Okay. I'm, I'm liking it. I think I got all the leaves up. Let me look. Let me make sure. You know what? I like this one here. We're going to kind of just put a few little leaves in there. Kind of digging out. Yeah, you gotta hit it easy. You don't wanna get too crazy. There we go, we got it. Let's go over in this corner. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. And there you have it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. You know what? I'm gonna shoot it with a little bit more gold. Those darker areas. That I hit that I hit too hard. Let's put some freaking gold in there, man. All right. Canvas number one, guys. Check that out. Isn't that badass? You, do, you can hang it this way on a door, or you can hang it this way above your couch. You choose. Okay, that's painting number one. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, now I got another technique for you guys. I want to try out here. We're going to get a black canvas. A black canvas. That's right, a black canvas. And yeah, let me get this clump of leaves out of the way. Oh my goodness, they're sticky. Anyway, I just want to get some of these out of the way. I don't want to mess up everything. Wow. Okay. Trash. Trash, trash. Trash, 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 trash. Okay. Let's get that going over here. Um, flip, 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 flip. I didn't even use that paint. I was going to use that paint, and I decided not to use that paint. Okay. All right, let's go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a piece of this paper here. Put it right over the top of that. Then I'm going to get a can of white spray paint. I got two cans here, one here, one here. White spray paint. Okay, and then what we're going to do is do this. We're going to get a couple of these, a couple of elms. Couple elm leaves. Look at that. Elm leaves. Elm leaves. Sucker leaves. And we're gonna go ahead and get white spray paint. There we go. Flip it over. Very liberally. Liberally. Look at this. There we go, we're gonna go foam roller, guys. Foam roller. Boom, 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 boom. Foam roller, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, do it again. Do it again. Uh, you know what, we're gonna get with this. We're gonna get, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these other ones that I have, these elms, and spray one of them down, because they look kind of cool. We're just going to use the tip of it. Tip of the elm. Tip of the elm. And we're going to mix that up too. Right kind of there. That looks jazzy. All right, same thing. Whoa! Isn't that cool? Let's put a little bit there. Oh, that's wild. Maybe right up in here. Isn't that cool? Okay, a little bit more. I don't know how I got orange in that roller. That kind of annoys me, but I got orange in it. That's okay because it doesn't matter where the color is it anyway. Okay, more of that. And we're going to put it right down here. Look at that. And right there. And right there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we're gonna get more. We're gonna get more. We're gonna overlap it. 
Okay, now we got some of these up. Brush paint, we got some of these uh, junipers. We're gonna get a little bit of juniper here. Same thing. Do a juniper print, nice spray paint. And we're gonna put a little bit of juniper print in there. And we're gonna get a foam roller and just roll over the juniper. Oh yeah, nice and neat. Nice, see that texture? Gives it nice autumn texture. Look at that, breaks up that space. There we go, we're liking that. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. You liking that, you liking that. Yeah, let me see here. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray paint one of these leaves here. And we're gonna use it a couple times. And it's gonna overlap it right there. And overlap it here. Look at that, isn't that cool? Isn't that dope? See, look at that. Now it's an autumn fuel. See how cool that is? And right over here. Okay, some more of this. Kind of like in this. Let's do another one of these uh, elms. Let's do another one of these elms. Let's get that out of the way and just do that elm again. I like this one here because it's nice and stiff. Okay, I'm just going to get this one. Same thing. Just get it right here in this corner. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's get this little piece right here. And right in the corner. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. We're gonna break that tip off. There we go. Let's spray that part. There we go. Nice little leaf pattern there. Okay, now that is done. We're not gonna do another one, we're just gonna go ahead and show you that one just real quick, just to kind of show you what it's doing. Okay, we're gonna get that out of the way. Now we're gonna get our funky hair dryer out. Let's get rid of this paint mess. Get rid of the paint mess. Okay, here's the paint mess. We're gonna hand dry this, hair dry it. Okay, now we're just gonna come over here and get this orange paint that I had laid out earlier that I thought I didn't even need, but I'm gonna use it anyway. So let's just go ahead and get a nice little uh, soft, little soft brush like this one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use this one. And we're gonna get a bunch of water on there. Let's get a bunch of water. Let's get some water, and we're just gonna kind of water that orange down. And look, guy. Uh, Look at that, guys. Orange. Oh, isn't that cool as hell? Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit of yellow. Let's put some yellow on that freaking plate. Oh. Send it out with water. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Let's get towel. Got wipe a little. Isn't that crazy cool? Get a little bit of green, you put it on the plate right here. Ooh, a little green, a little green. And wipe off that yellow a little bit, have water. Add some green, water down. But enough to but enough to colorize, you know. All right, we're digging that a lot. We're digging it. You know what? Let's get a little red in there too. Why not? Why not a little red? Let's get a little red. 
Just a little bit. Not a lot, Mark. Okay, red, where are you not coming out? Okay, that red's not working. Let me get another red. Frickin' red didn't work. Why didn't I read the red? Okay, red. Okay, is this red gonna work? This is should, it's brand frickin' new. Oh my lord, I thought I had a red that worked. Okay, yeah, it was a little bit of red. I want a thicker red, I don't want too, too thin. Cause it has to be transparent, but thick. So, I wanna be able to soften it out myself. Okay, see that's the red I want right there. Okay, let's get this red in here, look at that. So it's powerful. You gotta be kind of careful with the red. A little bit down here. Okay, over here. Over here. I'm liking that. All right. You know what? I didn't have any purple nearby. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna spray paint purple around the place. You gotta do this quick. Purple. You can use spray paint, it's just a little thicker and won't stain it won't stain the same way as acrylics. But it's fast, you just saw what I did. Saw it here first guys. This is my technique from the 90s. From the freaking 90s guys. I've been doing this a long time. A long time. Yep. Look at that. We're gonna call that a done deal. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of gold on there though. Give it a pizzazz. Now tell me that ain't freaking cool, guys. Check that out on a black canvas using spray paint and acrylic, watered down acrylics. Fast, easy autumn painting. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my little autumn uh, painting. Uh, session here I mean it is what it is you know but it's fast it's fun you know and like I said it's kind of wipe it in god look at that it's, just, it's so cool looking you can hang that up on your office wall or hang it up at work or whatever hang it up at home or give it to grandma or whatever but anyways peace out false art I love you happy autumn and stay tuned to my Halloween video it's coming up guys it's going to be a doozy all right thank